know what I'm talking about, babe. Yeah. Uh. Now it's time for me. All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right. I'm back. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So you read the title. So we ain't gonna play. We are gonna get into the story. If you haven't already liked, comment, and subscribe, do so. You know, sometimes I don't like saying it. I haven't said it. I don't think I said it in some of them other videos, but I'm saying it. So do that. Thank y'all for the comments. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for doing, um, for sharing my stuff. Y'all know I like to uh, read your comments and reply. I reply back to every comment. Whenever you do comment, I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all so much. But without further ado, we're going to get into the story. So if you haven't already got your snack, got your drink, get your herbal, we are going to start as soon as you do that. And I'm drinking water. This is we same day, same outfit, same everything. You know how I do. I'm doing two videos in one day for the whole week. I love y'all. Come back. <laughs> Shots of vodka. I know I didn't know if I was gonna tell y'all this story. I I don't know. I say that a lot. I feel like mm, do I wanna tell him this story? Uh yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all. This my the person I'm talking about, she watches my videos. This is one of my friends. She watches my videos. I don't know if she's gonna comment or say anything. I don't know. She probably won't. She probably will. I don't know. But me and her, we all right. It's just, hold on. Let me just tell y'all the story. Let me just hold on back. Let me tell y'all. Okay. You read the title. I said my friend husband hit on me. And it went chaotically, horribly wrong, y'all. It went so bad. Okay. This was so many years ago. My daughter was probably my baby daughter. My baby girl, she probably was like one years old. She is 10. So it's been that long ago. It's been some years ago. I don't know why. I understand that people have friends that cross the line. I'm not oblivious. I understand. But my friendship with this person I would never, I wouldn't do that to none of my friends. Let's be clear. I would never cross the line with none of my friends, man, husband, boyfriend, situationship. If you fucking, I'm not messing, I'm not touching who you touched. I'm just not going to do it because that's nasty. I'm not doing it. I'm not one of the people that secretly lust over people's men. Like if he, no, I don't want your man. Let's be clear. But this is what I gathered from this situation. I told this story to my boyfriend and we had talks, different talks about this situation. Cause we've had, he would always make scenarios and be like, well, what if your friend did this? Or what if uh, one of my friends, did? cause I was like, we, we just talk about like, what will we do in the situation? Anybody can say what they would do, but what would you really do? But I feel like what I told him and what he told me, I believe that we would really do these things because we really be doing stuff. But anyway, it's <laughs> a whole nother story for a whole nother time. But anyway, um, so this happened a long time ago, like I said. So me and my friend, we was friends since we was little. Over 20 years. It's another one of them stories. <laughs> We've been friends for since we were young. We always together. It was my hip. We was always together. When I was ducking and jumping out windows to go see, you know, my little my little boo, she was doing the same thing. We 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 spending the night to go run off with these men, these niggas. <laughs> and we did everything together. We worked together. We used to go out together. We used to go to the club. We used to go to T-Town. That was the club, T-Town. We used to go to T-Town Hush. We used to go everywhere. Metropolis. We used to go to, we used to be in them clubs. We used to go shopping. We used to, man, I, when I was doing my little five finger discounts at my job, she was one of the people who would go get the stuff and bring it to my register. And I act like I checked it out and I didn't. That was my dog. You hear me? <laughs> Like her sister used to come. I used to be with them all the time. Her mom, I used to cook for them. Uh, when I would get into it with my mom, she would be right there. Like, like it was a lot. Like we, that was my dog. So our friendship was like that was my 
ace, my Virgo ace. That's my ace. She know, like, I don't know something about y'all Virgos. I love y'all. <laughs> but that was my dog. So, um, and I have a lot of friends that's that's my dog that I that I was that we done been through all types of jumping out the window, stealing, doing all types of stuff, fucking up niggas' cars. Like this friend right here, we threw rocks at her nigga car. Cause we, cause he was cheating on her. I, this also this friend, I helped her break into this so this this man's phone, cause he was cheating, and we we broke into the the uh, the voice box, I a voicemail. This is before like it's now it's a little bit more complicated, but back then, back back in them times, you just needed to know the little code, and you in that thing, and it wasn't that difficult, cause men kind of don't think a lot. So anyway, that that's our that was the basics of our little back end for y'all okay so y'all know that's my dog she know i would never cross the line at, at all and i know she would never cross the line either she'd be ready to fight these dudes off of me like she'd be ready to knock their heads off and she fire too so <laughs> little feisty thing but okay y'all so this time in our friendship we was real close. I mean, I talk to her all the time. We be on the phone, talking. We get out of work. We on. We talking. I mean, we talked all the time. Like this, she lived like forty five minutes away from me, and then, and we still was like that. Ain't nothing. Forty five minutes ain't nothing. We see each other all the time. We hang out. We go to dinner. We eat. We go to strip clubs. This one I used to go to strip clubs a lot. She was with me all the time. Every time we go out, we end up somewhere. I'd be like, let's go to the strip club. She was. She was the person who was with me when we go to strip club. Okay. I think that had a lot to do with it too. Cause he, he was seem like he was okay and cool with it. But then I think he low key wasn't okay. Cool with it anyway. Okay. So they've been together since they was teenagers. So I knew him throughout. It was what nobody knew that just came in and he didn't know who I was or nothing. Like I've been to his house. I knew his sister, his mama, I knew his people. I used to stay at their house. I spend the night, but like I used to be at their house from sun up to the time sun go down and I go home or whatever like that. Cause that's her dude. So I used to be at their house. Okay. We're going to fast forward years later. We got kids now. We got our own lives and we just doing life. We, we young in our twenties. We doing things, you know, like I said, we would go out. Y'all, my leg killing me. I had to do a little stretch of the leg. But we used to do everything together, like I said. So we doing life. All of us, we doing life. She got kids. I got kids. And we just, she married. And I, you know, I mean, the process of being married. Um, you can say I'm married. All of that. We we just, we know each other. Our lives are like entangled. We go to birthday party, we do everything together. So our husbands know each other, all of that. Okay. We go to a wedding. The wedding is her cousin's wedding. I told y'all, it's my dog. So I know all her people. I know our cousins. Her cousins are my friends. They come to my house. They kick it. We go out. We hang. One of her cousins is like my road dog too. Like she like one of my best friends too. That's my sister. I just talked to her the other day on the phone. That's my dog too. Uh, that's my Aquarius dog. I love her too. <laughs> so, um, we go to her, not the one I just told you I talked on the phone, but it's her sister. So my best, this is at the time, this was my best friend. So her cousin sister is getting married. So we go to the wedding, right? Okay. The wedding is all the way in El Campo. If you from Houston, and you know where that is. That's far as, that's a far ass drive. It's like two hours away. It's a far damn drive in the country, deep in the country. So we driving all the way to the country, to the wedding. Okay, drop the kids off uh, and we go to the wedding. All right, we at the wedding. The wedding is nice, it's beautiful. Everything's beautiful. Have a good time. We see everybody, it's BYOB. You know, it's country. We in the country. So you bring your own liquor. Everybody, they got the people cooking. You know, it's, it's a good little vibe. We sit at this table and the table we at is me, my husband, and it's her, her husband. And then um, 
I don't know who else. It was some other people, but it wasn't too many. But everybody kept getting up and, and, and doing their own thing. People get up and dance. People get up and go smoke because you can't smoke inside. So you got to smoke outside. She smoked and my husband smoked cigarettes at the time. They both used to, when they drink, they smoke. They didn't smoke like chain smokers, like people that need to smoke. They only smoked when they drink alcohol. So they was getting up and go smoke together. So when at this one, they went up and did it a few times. Okay. So when they came back, me and her, we had went to the restroom. I got up. Now I'm going to tell you what I had on. I had on this dress. It's, it was a, um, it was a spaghetti strap sequence fitted, like how my shirt fitted. It was a fitted sequence dress and it was short. It was probably like, um, like mid thigh short dress. And I had some, um, I had some, um, open toe booty, like heels. Cause they were like booties, but they, the toes was out. Like it was open toes, real cute. And the dress was like purpley, silver, pink. It was like a sequency, but it was like a short, it looked like, like something you would wear on New Year's Eve, if y'all know what I mean. Like a New Year's Eve type of dress. It had the low cut in the front. It had the spaghetti strap. And then, you know, the back kind of low. It looked like a dress, like a cocktail dress, but a dress you wear for like a New Year's Eve party. Cause you know, New Year's people wear sequins and stuff like that. I don't know why I wore that to the wedding, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking like that wasn't appropriate for no wedding. But anyway, I was in my twenties. I didn't know. <laughs> so, but, and then I had the booties on to match the dress. Cause the dress had like purple and pinks and silver and the booties was like a purpley color, like a real pretty purple color. And they had like a bowl on. It was cute. Them shoes was them shoes was fire. I love them shoes. I don't even. I don't think I still got them shoes. But anyway, um, I don't know why I wore that though. I'm thinking about it. that dress wasn't appropriate, but it was cute. It was giving. The dress was giving. Um, giving everything it needed to give. <laughs> and then another reason why I, I probably didn't have an issue with wearing it because I was with my husband. So a lot of the times, like if I wear stuff that was like kind of like revealing ish or like yeah we'll say that like revealing i would always be with him i never wore that stuff without him i would most of the time wear those type of dresses when i know he with me he'd be like he didn't care because you know i'm looking like some so he was fine with it so I got the dress and we go walk to the restroom because i'm like i don't know i just wanted to tell y'all what i had on because i feel like that's significant you know I look good. Hell, I ain't gonna sit up here and be humble. I know I look good in that dress. I look good. My hair was fire. I didn't even do makeup at this time. This is how far back the shit was. I wasn't even doing makeup. I was bare, you know, I, the only thing I used to do was put mascara on and put the liner like how I got on this black liner and mascara. I ain't do no brows, no lipstick, no foundation. I think a lot of people at that time, this was so long ago. This was way before makeup was trending how it was. This was way before that. So we go into the restroom and we talking, me and her, whatever. You know, we just talking like normal stuff, girl stuff, regular stuff, everyday stuff. Like, I don't know what we talking about. We in the bathroom. We come out of the restroom, walk back to the table. When we walk back to the table, um, my husband asked her, he said, hey, you want to go back out? And have another um because my husband probably my husband was lit that's why he kept smoking like that he was he was lit popped i wasn't drinking because i knew i had to drive back so i went by and we was way out in, in bumfuck egypt i don't know how to get back i had to use gps I, I don't need to be drinking and i don't know you know how i go down out here so like somebody got to be sober so it, it's gonna be me i volunteer i'm okay so um they go back out because she was like okay come on so they left and then uh he uh walked out with her so now where we sitting i'm sitting she's sitting next to me my husband's sitting on this side of me and then her husband's sitting on the opposite side of her so it's a chair between me and her husband so her husband gets up and sits in the chair directly next to me so my chair is turned towards like towards my friend my husband chair is next to me but i'm like my back would be towards him 
if he was sitting right there because I was talking to her, but I would have turned my chair back. You know what I mean? So my chair was turned that way. So my legs are facing, you know, that way. He comes and he gets a chair and he moves a chair and he comes sits in. He gets out of his chair and moves a chair and has a chair facing, you know, towards me. So he brings a chair closer to me. Now I'm thinking he bringing it closer to me because he want to tell me something like it's loud. It's a whole wedding part. Like it's a perception. So the music loud, DJ loud, people loud. It's a lot of people around. It's loud. It's dim lit. It's not bright. It's dimly lit because what's lighting up everything is on the table. She had candles like those uh, floating candles. She had like a whole bunch of floating candles in the middle of the table. So that's what give you the light besides the dim lit on top of, you know, in the ceiling or whatever. So he moves. So I'm thinking he going to sit there and he going to like whisper something in my ear. He going to tell me something. No. He comes down and he's talking to me, but he's not whispering. He's talking to me like this. I can hear him. So he's not whispering, but I'm thinking he's going to like get close because he's sitting close to me. Like he need to tell me whatever he's going to tell me. He goes and he comes close to me and he says something to me about my dress. And then he took his hand and he put his hand. I told you my dress was short. It's like thylin. So when you sit down, you know, it raises up a little bit. He takes his hand and this is my thigh, y'all. This is my thigh. And this is my dress. Just say my dress right here. He took his hand and he goes up my dress like this. Up my thigh. With his hand. I had moved his hand and I told him, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And he was just like, you know, I, I, he's like, I, I always liked you. I always thought you was fine. I always had some type of attraction to you. He's like, you know, I just was trying to see if it was mutual. And I'm like, hell no, it ain't mutual. <laughs> what you mean? You you my best friend husband. What are you talking about? I'm like, and my husband out there, is you stupid? You you got to be, you must suicide mission. You trying to die today. This You trying to die today. He is going to wreck shopping this motherfucker. He going to kill your ass. And that ain't even though he is going to kill that man. I know how he get down. I Especially when it comes to me and another man. He killing shit. He fucking shit up. Like you, you signing your death wish. I told him you need to go on back to your seat and I, and, uh, like you need to stop. Like, cause I don't know if it was cause he was drunk. You know, at first I tried to be like, oh, maybe it was cause he was drunk. Nah, this motherfucker ain't, wasn't drunk. He always had this on his mind. He had to, cause he was just, I'm finna. And then you did it at the wedding. I didn't understand that. Okay, y'all, so they come walk. So he get up and he walk to the other chair and he just like, think about it. Basically, tell me, think, think about it, think about it. Think about it. You want to die. So my friend come walking in the door. My husband come walking in the door. I immediately was uncomfortable. And I was telling my husband, I'm like, hey, I'm tired. Like, I'm ready to go. I said, let's go. Because we was already at that wedding for a long time. That wedding went on for a long time. So we could have stayed till like two because the wedding service wasn't over till two. But I was ready to go. So I think we didn't leave directly right after that. But because my husband started talking me into staying because he wanted to stay. So I just avoided whenever they would go, I would just go with them. I avoided it or whatever. But eventually we ended up leaving because we left before them. So I was telling my husband, I'm like, come on, let's go. So we end up leaving. We in the car and we driving. I couldn't hold it in, y'all. I was just like, I got to tell him when I know we down the road and I'm not turning around. Like, I got to I gotta tell him because I'm like, I can't I can't sit on this for no day or two. Like, And I know I after I did it, I was like, I should have just told him the next day. But I just could Like, sometimes when stuff be on my mind, my boyfriend know this too. I cannot hold it. I have to say it. Either way, I'm going to say it to your face. I'm going to text it to you. But I'm going to tell you, you going to know what's going. You going to know something, especially if it's on my mind. It don't matter what it is. If it's something on my mind that you did to me, something on my mind that I seen, something on my, on my mind I found out, something on my, I'm going to tell you. So this is, this just happened to me. So I'm like, I'm about to tell him cause this shit weird and he fucking weird. And I don't know what the fuck he going to tell her if he even tell her anything. I don't know. So we driving and I'm telling, I told my husband, I said, Hey, I got to tell you something. He's like, what? I said, promise you won't get mad. He's like, what you mean? Promise me you don't, won't get mad. I said, 
promise that you won't get mad because I said, I know how you are. I said, I don't want you flipping out. Like, he's like, what the fuck happened? I'm like, oh my God. That's what he said. What the fuck happened? Tell me, don't be talking about no promise. Just tell me. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, man, listen, I didn't do shit. Okay. I just want you to know. I didn't do anything. I just wanted to leave. That's why I said, let's go. He said, that's why you, I said, that's why I'm telling you right now. He's like, just tell me what is it, Jolanda? What is it? And I'm like, so-and-so, because I ain't give him no name. And I don't feel like having to remember this. So-and-so husband hit on me at the thing. He told me, hit on you? What you mean? He said something to you? I said, he touched my thigh. He said, what? I said, he put his hand up my dress. He said, well, he said, turn this motherfucker around. Turn it around. Turn it around. He started screaming in the car. He, now, I'm driving. And we driving in the country. It's the country. Like, it's dark around this motherfucker. It's one-way streets. Like, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's two-way whatever streets. It's the country. So, I'm like, I'm trying to, I, I got away good enough to where I could tell him. So, I'm like, no. I said, I'm not turning around. He's like, turn it around. So, then, this this my car now. This my car. This ain't his car. It's my car. He starts punching the dashboard. And I'm like, hey. Stop punching the dashboard. I'm like, you're going to make the damn uh, airbag pop or some shit. You punching the shit out there. Shit, don't punch it. He's like, turn. He's just screaming and he punching. He's like, turn this motherfucker around. I'm about to kill his ass. He's like, I'm going to kill. I'm going to put my, he's like, I'm going to put my hands around his neck and I'm going to choke the fucking life out of him. He got me fucked up. I'm going to choke the life out of him. He's like, turn it around. I'm going to kill his ass. I'm like, no, no. I'm like, I'm not turning around. That's her. I'm like, this type they people wedding. I was like, I'm not taking you back there. You're going to ruin their wedding. He's like, I don't give a fuck about their wedding. I'm like, that's your, I was like, listen, you're drunk. You don't know what you're saying right now. I'm like, we could talk about this tomorrow. If you want to see this motherfucker, see him tomorrow. I'm like, don't see him at the wedding. I said, you are going to go to jail in this country town. I said, or you're going to kill this motherfucker and go to jail. I'm like, it ain't worth it. And I'm like, in this day wedding day, I'm like, it's not worth it. I'm trying to talk reason to him. I know he drunk, y'all. I know sometimes they, the reasoning ain't that he ain't hearing it. Man, he was, I'm just driving. And he's like, that's why you wanted to drive. That's why you waited till we got, I'm like, yes, that's why I want, and it's not why I wanted to drive. I wanted to drive because you was drinking. Two, I wasn't going to let you drive us in this country and drunk like this. No. And I said, three, I knew if you was driving and I told you, you was going to turn the car back around. What? I wouldn't even have told you. I'll tell you when we got home. So I'm like, I just could not hold it on me. I had to tell you. And then he was like, I'm going to kill him. He's like, where your phone at? I said, <laughs> it's right here. Call her right now. Call her right now and tell her what you just told me. I said, okay. I called her. I put on speaker. He's like, put on speaker. He's screaming. I'm like, okay. It's on speaker. I put on speaker. He's like, uh, she's like, hello? I'm like, hey, are you busy? I mean, well, you know, you know how y'all be like, hey, you busy? You doing something? It's just, it just flow out. Hey, you busy? She's like, I said, you still there? Is he right next to you? She was like, yeah, he right here. I said, can you walk away from him? She's like, yeah, is everything all right? I said, yeah. She's like, I, I said, I need to tell you something. And he he just looking at me like death, like staring me down. Like you better tell her. I am going to tell her. So I'm like, I need to tell you something. I said, don't get mad at me, please. I said, I need to tell you something. She was like, okay. I said, your husband had hit on me at the wedding. I said, and he put his hand up my dress. And I told him, to cut that shit out what the fuck is wrong with you and i said um he needed to chill and he just told me you know other stuff about how he always liked me whatever whatever she said huh he said that well he told me that you grabbed his ding a -ling. <laughs> the way i said it y'all <laughs> she was like yeah he said you grabbed it i said now, you've been friends with me all this time. I know you don't believe that. She said, honestly, no, I don't believe it. I don't believe him at all. I know you would never do nothing like that to me. I know you would never hit on him. I never, I know you would, they ain't even your, they ain't even your type. You would never talk to him. She was like, so I already know he lying. But I, she's like, I feel like he just said that because he trying to beat you to the punch because he know you going to tell me. So he going to say this so that you, I could be mad at you and not believe you. But she's like, I believe you. 
And she believed me because he was cheating a lot. He was cheating a lot with the same person and kept getting caught with this same person. So she had believed me. But even with her believing me, because, okay, we done with the conversation. We talked, we done. I told her I love her. I told her to call me tomorrow, whatever. She said, okay. She loved me back, whatever. You know, we talked like that. So, okay. <sighs> the next day come, I talked to her briefly. She said they was arguing. He kept denying and saying that it was me, that I was the one doing everything, that I hit on him, that I grabbed on him. I'm like, I'm not... First of all, I'm the only one that's not drinking. I'm not drinking. My friend was drinking a little bit. She wasn't drinking a lot because she had to drive too. She had like maybe one or two drinks because she had to drive too. He was drunk. My husband was drunk. So I'm like, he going to say anything. She said, I know. I don't believe him. She's like, but, um, you know, it. he, the ever since that had happened, like him doing that, it changed our whole dynamic of our relationship. He put he like I think that was his whole goal was to like separate us he did not want her to be around me no more he kept saying that I was a bad influence to her that I was influencing her to do stuff that she wouldn't do I'm like that girl got her own mind she do whatever she want to do first of all she is a very independent person very independent she will do whatever she want to do she don't care what you say how you say it she gonna do what she wants how she wants to do it. I can never influence her to do anything. All I could do was give her advice on if this is a good idea or not. I would never make her do something that she didn't want to do. So he was basically putting a wedge between us because he had his own motives and agendas of what he wanted to do and how he was trying to do things. So we didn't talk as much as we used. we used to talk every single day. We didn't talk every day no more. If we did talk, she had to call me from work. She would not call me at home. She told me they was arguing about me and her friend, me, our friendship. He told her he did not want me to be friends with her no more. That because uh, I was trying to sleep with him, and it was a whole mess of stuff. So our friendship had changed. We wasn't close no more. I remember I had one tickets. I had one tickets to go see Trey Songs and Chris Brown. I had one fourth row tickets. I will post it right here to show y'all because I still have the little picture. I won the tickets. I wanted to take her. I called her on the phone and I'm like, hey, we, this is at the time where we wasn't even talking like that no more because he would not let us talk. We used to talk every day. He would get angry if he found out that we was like, check her phone and everything. So I called her on the phone and I'm like, I know we ain't been talking a lot like we used to, but I want these tickets and I want you to come with me. See if he'll let you come. Cause that's exactly how I had to say it. See, cause he was controlling our dynamic. So I'm like, see if he'll let you come. She said, um, I'm, she's like, I really want to go. I'm going to tell him, but I already know he going to be like, no. So she's like, she called me the next day at work and she just like, he, we was arguing the whole time, like the whole time. She was like, I won't, this is her. And what she told me, this stuck with me throughout my own situation with my marriage. She said, Jolanda, I want to go with you so bad. You know, I want to go with you. I want to be around you. I want to hang out with you. My sister, I love you. She was like, but Jolanda, I want peace too in my house. And she was like, and I don't want to be fighting and I don't want chaos and I don't want to be, she's like, so I can't go. And she was like, I can't really talk to you like I used to either. Cause I just want, I want peace in my house. And I'm like, damn, man, she had to choose me or him. And she chose him what she should have chose because it's her husband. I understand I do, but the way that he went about it was so malicious and so hurtful, but I'm happy to say, that fuck nigga gone. <laughs> she is done with him, divorced and everything. So, you know, I don't talk to her as much as I used to. You know, we talk here and there. She come over sometimes from time to time. If I have parties and stuff like that, I always invite her. She come. Um, she in a whole nother new relationship and things like that. And she in a good place. She happy and she got away from him. But up until that point, like it was so bad like I remember one time she called me because he did something to her and I was about to go over there with my you know pow pow thing um 
yeah, I was going to go over there and like, I probably would have been in prison, y'all, because I was going to try to do something to him. This was after the, the concert. This was after everything because I talked to her, but not as much. I talked to her here and there, but he did something to my friend and she called me on the phone, hysterical, crying, screaming in the phone. And I was like, I'm telling my husband, I'm like, I'm about to go right up over there. My husband wasn't trying to stop me either. He just, he was just telling me like, Jolanda, think about what you about to do. Cause when he, when he be ready for go and I try to talk him off the ledge, he don't be trying to hear me. So he wasn't trying to talk me off the ledge, but he was trying to give me reason. If that makes sense. He was just like, Jolanda, if you go, I'm going with you. But he was like, you might go to jail if you shoot this man. So he was like, is it worth it going over there? And they got their problems. She might end up being with him again. And I was just like, okay, let me just, so let me just talk to her and just make sure she okay. If I need to call the police or something for her, I send them over there. But I'm like, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to do something, do something to him. But I didn't end up going because my husband was just like, I'm going to go with you, but I ain't going to let you do nothing to that man. Like, we just need to find out if if she's safe, basically. But anyway, that had changed our whole dynamic of our friendship. We wasn't friends like we used to be. We wasn't close. And it was all because of him lying and him hitting on me and doing all that. And I feel like it was all, he was trying to do that from the get-go. I would never touch his thing. Ew. But y'all, okay. So that's the story. I'll tell y'all some other little stories in between the time, in that time about this particular dynamic of our relationship and him trying to cause conflict in it and yeah just stay tuned i gotta put it in my little notes so i remember to do it but i love you guys thank you so much for watching the video i hope it helped you pass some time today and i love you guys and i'll see you in my next upload bye